Hi guys, welcome to my next video. This is, like I promised, five things I love about this car. So we'll um, we'll get going and I'll start. So five things I like about this car. So first thing has got to be the headlights. Love it. Really good, really good. The Zenit headlights, so they're really yeah, they're really bright. And on roads that I'm driving now, which no street lights, the, you know, the country roads, perfect, perfect. And on main beam, they are uh, they're brilliant as well. So yeah, um, it's first thing, headlights, fantastic. Second thing, cruise control. Now, obviously, my first car, Toyota Tiger, didn't have cruise control. Um, but I can't believe how much I've used it since I've, I thought, oh, I'll use it on motorway, that's it. But um, you use it, you use it where you don't expect to use it, like on just on, on you know, sometimes on main roads, if you if you're in a certain speed limit, you just set it at like 40 or 30, and that's all you have to do. You know, that's that's. Um, so I love cruise control, especially on, on motorways when if you've got like a 50 limit, th things like that, just set it at 50 and just just that's it. All you have to do is steer. You know, and, and um, yeah, I love love cruise, love it, especially on, on a long journey. It's, it's it's great, you know, really good. Um, third thing, again, I mean, a lot of these are only small, um, but the third thing has got to be this sat, this infotainment system. Love it, absolutely love it. It's um, it's great. It's so easy to use. It's beyond belief. You know, a, a five-year-old could use it. It's that easy, and it's brilliant. It's got Garmin sat nav, got everything on it. Live traffic, speed cameras, the lot. Um, it's really good. Yeah, I love, love the sat nav, and even the uh, you know infotainment system is great. I can listen to songs via Bluetooth on the phone. Got SD, USB, AUX, CD. There's that many different um, outputs you can use. Obviously, it's got DAB as well, so I love, love my DAB, DAB radio. That's good. Um, so yeah, definitely third thing has got to be the infotainment system. Now, the third thing is actually. Um, was on my last video and that was the keyless entry now obviously I'm talking about the bad side of it now the good side is I know this this is a bit sounds it might sound daft this but you know you, you get to your car you don't even think about the key you just walk up if it works you press the button and you get in and then again if it works you press the button to start you never have to touch your key which is you know it's it's all right I suppose you know you just leave your key as long as your key's on you that's all you have to do so it's quite you know, it's quite it's quite good really. And the good thing is, is I know you probably wouldn't, but if you did have to insert the key, um, you might I don't know you might forget to stick it out or something. But when it's on you, it's always on you. And that's all you have to do. Just, just leave it on you. Um, so that's that's uh, so that's good. And again, keyless entry, like I said, it's great because you just unlock car on the button on, on the uh, on the door. And the good thing about this keyless entry, which is different to other systems, is Something I do, not everyone does, I just check the door's locked. Now, there's no sensor on this door, behind the door handle, so obviously it won't sense that you're trying it, which is good because sometimes you think, oh, on some keyless systems I've used in the past, you, you put your hand, oh, it's gonna be unlocked because there's a sensor to unlock it. So I do like the fact it's just a button to unlock and lock, that's quite, a, that's quite good. So yeah, that's the third thing is, is, uh, is keyless entry. Um, sorry, fourth thing. So yeah, keyless entry, fantastic. The final thing um, has got to be, has to be, these seats. Because I did say, mention in the last video about um, about they're not going low enough, but I don't think so. I think they, they, go, they go low enough for me. And also, the, um, the they're really supportive, really supportive. And especially on, if you're going obviously on, on a decent road, you want a bit of support around down the side like it's, it's really supportive. Um, so yeah, they're really old and tight and uh, really comfy as well. Really comfy. So yeah, final thing's got to be the seats. I mean, there's lots of things, but I have to obviously narrow it down to five things. Um, so that's it. So thanks for watching, guys. Remember, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. 
there will be more videos, um, hopefully on the car, some external shots, obviously a bit of driving on, on decent roads, things like that, um, just to give people an idea of you know, ownership of one. So, uh, so thank you.